Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to do combinations in math. Now, combinations have a certain formula that you have to think about writing, but once you ha understand the formula, how it works, you can just uh, plug in numbers and go from there. So here's the combinations formula. So in combinations, which is used in probability theory and counting scenarios, it's N C R. N and R are kind of like subscripts here, and basically N is the total amount of objects that you have to choose from. And R is the number of objects taken from the total. And the idea here is R is never larger than N. So if you have the formula, it's going to be N factorial in the numerator divided by, now there's going to be two parts in the denominator, R factorial as well as N minus R factorial. Now, the important thing to think about here is you have to figure out what the expression inside the parentheses is first. You cannot distribute the factorial symbol. A lot of folks like to do that. Uh, it just cannot be done. So if you have 10C3, that means if you have 10 objects and you're taking three of them at a time, and order is not important, that's the other thing to remember about combinations. Basically, the idea, idea here is 10 is going to replace the N, and 3 is going to replace the R. So you have 10 factorial over r is 3, so 3 factorial times n is 10 minus r is 3 factorial. So again, you have to think about what's in the parentheses first. 10 minus 3 is 7. So it's going to be 10 factorial over 3 factorial, 7 factorial. Now you can either do this by hand, by expanding the factorials and then do the cancellations, or if you want to use a calculator, that's fine too. And some calculators even have a combination uh, function depending on how advanced your calculator is. But um, this is the formula and you should be able to go from there once you know what numbers to plug in. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's how to do combinations in math.